Football has been the constant focus for the Badgers this August, but head coach Brett Bielema knows his team also needs an opportunity to relax. While the team enjoyed some fun away from Camp Randall, the events took a chilling turn for some of the Badgers. Bielema had more serious business for his team. I'm tired of being good. I want to be great. We've been a good football team here. Greatness takes a little bit of a little bit of something that other people don't have. If, if it was easy, everybody'd be great. Great teams look to their leaders for direction. After a team vote, Bielema reveals the Badgers' captains for 2012. I'm going to start off on the defense side of the ball. Let's go with the captain, the senior linebacker, Mike Taylor. Uh, actually, on both sides of the ball, there is a junior this year. Uh, uh, junior linebacker as well, Chris Morrow. Uh, thank you guys very much. Um, this is something I've thought about since I committed four years ago. Um, I won't let you down. It means a lot to me. And I think we've got leaders all over the board, regardless of the title. Whether you're a captain or not, we've got a bunch of leaders in this room. Last guy on defense, Shelton Johnson. On the offense side of the ball, uh, another junior. Center, Travis Predator. Uh, I guess, thanks guys, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Um, it's really an honor. I think we've done good things this camp. Just keep working hard. Also a senior offensive lineman, Ricky Swagger. Last but not least, Monte Ball. Well, first off, thank you. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot to me. It's, a, it's just an honor to really just here to be a captain for you guys. I really care about you guys. And one thing I can't guarantee you guys is that I'll make sure I work my heart, work my heart to get to the place we can get to. It's not easy, and it's not. It, it comes out in the most difficult of times. And I'm asking these six guys to lead the way. All you guys got to do is try to follow their example. With their captains named, the Badgers take the field for the third week of fall camp. The captains have been setting an example on the field this August, including position mates Mike Taylor and Chris Borland, who led the Big Ten in tackles last season. Yeah, I think Mike and I do have a, a chemistry on the field. Um, you know, we both have been here for a while. We've seen three different coaches together. Um, you know, we discuss football a lot, and I think both kind of have a, uh, you know, good instincts for the game. So out there, we recognize things and communicate and definitely feed off one another. As the end of camp draws near, Hard work on the field is once again rewarded with some relaxation away from it.
make no mistake about it, this Wisconsin team can quickly switch gears. Only one practice remains in fall camp, and it's treated with game-like intensity. I just want to get our players and coaches at game speed, send coaches to the booth, uh, put coaches on the sidelines. I just want to make guys game ready. phase but pretty good right there I know it's a tough tempo and all that stuff but I want to get out here and break a sweat because of that I give you all day tonight all tomorrow morning all tomorrow afternoon and all tomorrow night off now with that being said the lock in your locker is your schedule from Sunday moving forward from here Wisconsin moves on to prep for its opening opponent Northern Iowa if the Badgers are going to be great in 2012 the next step comes September 1st <laughs> <laughs>